Currently, the richest man on earth, Bill Gates, and his wife Melinda are also known as the biggest givers or top philanthropists on earth in 2013. As by the end of that year, the couple had given away a total of 28 billion US dollars to their foundation. Warren Buffett, meanwhile, had donated 25 billion US dollars. There are also other billionaires and famous people who make philanthropy an important part of their lives and how they use their immense wealth, such as investor George Soros, Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg, CNN founder Ted Turner and many others around the globe. The Giving Pledge, started four years ago by Warren Buffett and Bill Gates, was designed to encourage and help the world's wealthiest people become lifetime philanthropists. As of May 2014, 127 individuals from 12 countries have signed the pledge, including Indonesian Tahir. You're such a role model for philanthropy, um, Mr. Gates. You see other uh, billionaires following your footstep and doing things on your scale, and especially focusing on issues that are of global concern. Are there more and more people? I mean, or are you also encouraging uh, this kind of philanthropy? Well, we saw today an uh, amazing example of, of people doing things. And they're not my footsteps. You know, Rockefeller, yeah. Carnegie, Tata. I mean, you know, I got to read lots of books about people who've done, done things well. I do think that the more people who do it, it draws other people in. And even, you know, society says, hey, if you're really successful, mm -hmm. You should get out there and find something about the people in need. Not necessarily help. That, that's, I think it's a very important thing, but philanthropy has to be broad and diverse. You know, how do you make schools better? How do you deal with handicapped people? How do you, there's so many needs, and philanthropy will grow and grow because it'll become kind of an accepted norm, uh, even for people without big resources, mm -hmm hopefully giving small amounts of money or, or small amounts of time. Mm -hmm. But I hear this is something new also for Indonesia. And uh, do you see that this is going to be something that more and more people will Yeah, will I join think uh, then? Uh, what Mr. Bigger say, he's not the beginning, he's not the end. Yeah, we are just a part of the process you know, of this life. So the most important is we can inspire the people to do it. Mm -hmm. And first of all, I inspire my children to do it. Because that's my responsibility. <laughs> and then uh, maybe this model can inspire other businessmen. Mm -hmm. So I think we do our part in our life. Uh, Mr. Bill can do his part. He's too much bigger and I have a much small capacity and capability. I do small mm -hmm. in scale in my own country. I think that is my philosophy. Mm -hmm. So that's your, your motivation is also to want to make a, a difference. Uh, I, I don't make a difference. I'm not qualified with this to make a difference. I just do my part in my life. I think I live in this country. I keep something to my country. I think it's very logical consequences. Mm -hmm. It's very admirable. But in, in terms of your I mean, motivation, you, you for a long time you always equate, you know, Bill Gates, uh, IT entrepreneur, uh, Microsoft, and so on and so forth. I mean, how how do you see yourself now? Do you still have that um, label, or do you see yourself as I am Bill Gates, the philanthropist? Well, the things I like to do, sitting with scientists, uh, looking at innovation, sitting with people saying, can we get this out to help people? Um, you know, this is fun work. Mm -hmm. And it's fun to see the progress. And there are setbacks that challenge you, OK, mm -hmm. I didn't think hard enough. I didn't learn enough. I didn't involve enough of the smart people. Why are we having this setback? Uh, th that kind of mindset. Um, is, is very in, enjoyable. Uh, having my wife as my partner in this work, where she's got mm -hmm. you know, a lot of passion that women and children be you know, considered very carefully because they, they suffer the most from these problems, that's a lot of fun for me. Mm -hmm. And so it, it's different in that I don't stay in work three days without any sleep. You know, I, I take vacations. In my 20s, I didn't believe in vacation. I didn't believe in weekends. So, you know, I'm a little less crazy uh, than I was back then. Hopefully, I'm a little wiser than I was back then. Mm -hmm. But what would you say would be your biggest challenges now as a philanthropist with all this, you know, 
of the huge amount of money that you want to make sure that it's properly used. Well, what are the things that give you headaches and keep you awake at night, if any? Well, I've said that governments are the key partners, mm -hmm. and they uh, are there to sustain these programs. And sometimes governments, you know, aren't uh, measuring <laughs> things enough. They aren't <laughs> motivating people enough. You know, say you work in India, the worker, the health workers don't always show up. Uh, the budget doesn't always get paid. There is. Fortunately, in health, it's not large-scale corruption, but there is petty corruption. People, hmm. say, who ask for a fee for a service that should be free. And so how do you monitor that to keep that at a, a very low level? Mm -hmm. So the complexities of execution are, you could, you could let yourself be frustrated by it. Uh, you know, why aren't we done with polio in Pakistan? It's people who misunderstand, who've chosen to say that the, the polio vaccine is bad, and literally kill polio vaccinators. How about, the, about Indonesia? How optimistic well, are Indonesia you? Well, Indonesia is way, uh, Indonesia's already done a lot of very good things. It can do more to get that uh, vaccine coverage rate up, to get TB deaths down. Uh, but the, the basic will to do it, uh, having a, you know, a government that works in a pretty stable mm -hmm. fashion, uh, you know, a commitment that whatever misdirection of money there is that over time there's less and less of that. No, in, Indonesia is a very hopeful story. Mm -hmm. uh, many countries are striving to get to Indonesia's level. Now, that means Indonesia gets to strive to uh, follow others, but uh, it, it, this is a, a you know, really wonderful country and has a, a very mm -hmm. bright future.